This lesson will look at several examples of permutations. A permutation is an arrangement when order matters. A permutation is an ordered list with no repetition. A combination is an arrangement when order does not matter. A combination is for grouping with no repetition. In our first example, there are five children that are taking turns at using the swing on a playground. How many ways are there in which they can line up to use the swing when everyone gets exactly one turn? So the order of the lineup matters and there's no repetition and therefore this is an example of a permutation. And since there are five children and they all want to use the swing, the number of ways they can line up is five permute five, which can be written using this notation, five permute five, or this notation, five permute five. N permute five is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. In our case, both n and r are equal to five, and therefore this is equal to five factorial divided by five minus five factorial, which is equal to five factorial divided by zero factorial. Zero factorial is equal to one, and therefore we have five factorial, which is equal to five times four times three times two times one, which is equal to 120. There are 120 ways in which the five children can line up to use the swing. Let's just verify this on the calculator. There's a couple of ways of doing this. You can type in NPR or go to functions, click NPR, go back to the main screen and enter five comma five, enter, which verifies our result. Or we can enter five factorial by clicking five, going to functions and clicking the factorial and then enter. For the next example, Tony has 14 books on his summer reading list. He wants to choose four books to read in order from first to last, and how many ways can he do this? So once again, we do have a permutation because the order matters from first to last, and we are assuming he will not read the same book twice. And therefore, the number of ways he can choose four books to read from first to last from the 14 books is 14 permute four. Again, normally you would not write both notations, just pick one and use it. In this case, we have n is equal to 14 and r is equal to four, which means 14 permute four is equal to 14 factorial divided by 14 minus four factorial, which is equal to 14 factorial divided by 10 factorial. Let's go ahead and simplify this by hand and then verify it on the calculator. Let's expand 14 factorial. 14 factorial is equal to 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times, the remaining factors would be 10 factorial. So let's write 10 factorial. Then we have divided by 10 factorial. 10 factorial divided by itself simplifies to one. And therefore, we're left with 14 times 13 times 12 times 11. Let's go ahead and verify this on the calculator. 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 is equal to 24,024. Let's also verify that 14 permute four gives us the same result. So we can either type in NPR or go to functions, click NPR, go back to the main number keypad, enter 14 comma four, and notice how we do get the same result. 24,024 ways Tony can pick his books. Next, the student council has 11 students. They need to choose a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer for a student council. And how many ways can the four different positions be appointed from the 11 students? Once again, the order here does matter because the order indicates which position the student will take on the student council. And of course, we don't have repetition because a student cannot hold two offices. And therefore the number of ways the four different positions can be appointed from the 11 students is 11 permute four. We're here at n is equal to 11 and r is equal to four. 11 permute four is equal to 11 factorial 
divided by 11 minus 4 factorial. Simplifying, we have 11 factorial divided by 7 factorial. And now let's go ahead and expand 11 factorial until we get to 7 factorial. 11 factorial is equal to 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times the remaining factors would be 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial. 7 factorial divided by itself simplifies to 1. We are left with 11 times 10 times 9 times 8. 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 is equal to 7920. And 11 permute 4 should give us the same result. Click functions, click NPR, type in 11 comma 4, and we do get the same result. There are 7920 ways the four positions can be appointed from the 11 students. For the last example, Zach is creating a seven digit passcode using the digits zero through nine. How many seven digit passcodes are possible if the numbers cannot be repeated? So once again, we don't have repetition and the order does matter, and therefore, we can answer this question using a permutation. Zero through nine gives us 10 digits, and because Zach is selecting seven digit passcodes, the number of possible passcodes under these conditions would be 10 permute 7. Where n is equal to 10 and r is equal to 7, which gives us 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 7 factorial. Simplifying, we have 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial. Let's now expand 10 factorial until we reach 3 factorial. So 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. The remaining factors are equal to 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial. Simplifying, and now we find the product. We have 604,800 possible passcodes. Let's also verify we get the same result for 10 permute 7. And of course we do. I hope you found this helpful.